Hello there! This is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 9 on Nintendo Switch, and today I will be unlocking my Lamborghini Huracan Estio, this beauty that you see on the screen right now. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna be playing some multiplayer with a different car while I explain to you what is the situation with this car and why I don't own it just yet. But before doing any of that at all, why don't you hit the like button on this video if you enjoy my content, as well as subscribing to the channel, because remember that I post literally every single day. So go ahead, do it for DBT. But alright, I'm gonna go straight into some multiplayer in the classic series with my beloved Lamborghini Essenza SAB12, just because I love this car, I really do. Now, just to give you context real quick, I am recording this in May 22nd slash 23rd, depending on the time zone, and... Here on the Nintendo Switch, we're trying, by we, I mean the developers, we're trying to catch up to the global version so that everything is ready for Asphalt Legends Unite that should be dropping in July 17th. And the Switch version has been like a year behind than the global version for a very long time now. They have been skipping seasons now and, you know, doing a bunch of things in order to try to catch up. And what this means is that there's a bunch of cars that have not been made available just yet that have a player in the global version already had access to. One of these cars is precisely the Hurricane Super Trofeo Mologato, the STO. That car in the global version was a Legend Pass car. In fact, it was available for two Legend Passes, and well, if it went premium, you unlock the car. Which I did in the global version, but obviously over here on the Switch, it's also my intention to unlock every single Lambo, including that one. Now, because those seasons are going to be skipped where the car was available as a Legend Pass car, what Game Love just did was made it up, make it available in an Unleashed, which is a little bit of a weird situation because while it was premium at, uh, in the global version, over here being an Unleashed for a car that is honestly as bad as the STO is, oh man, it hurts to spend tokens on that, and that is precisely the problem that I'm going to be facing uh, later in this video when I start spending my tokens to unlock this car because, oh man, I tell you, it is a bit of a tough situation. By the way, I'm probably going to be getting a bunch of first places over here at the start because a lot of people are just farming at the moment, so of course I'm the only one actually playing, so yes, easy Ws. So this is just for the sake of having something playing on the screen while I explain what's happening. So like I just mentioned, the STO is a very bad B-class car. How bad is it? Well, do you know the 4 GT Mark II in this game? It's basically that. It's a car that is very slow, it has great acceleration, and it has goodish handling and okay nitro. I'm talking about the STO. The 4 GT Mark II is similar in some aspects, it's slightly different in others, but the idea is the same. It's a car that it's low class B. It's low class in class B. Meaning, for example, it's around the same rank and position as something like the Edel Design Zero Uno, so that should give you an idea. Now, why do I want the car? Obviously, because I am a Lambo collector. I've been collecting Lambos in both versions of the game, so I want to get that Lambo over here as well. So, now that it's available in an Unleash, well, the answer to how to unlock the car is, well, do all, all that you can in the Unleash, which gives you 30 blueprints for the car, but you need 55 just to unlock the car, and that is precisely the problem with this car. That it's a car that requires a tremendous amount of blueprints for anything. In total, let's keep in mind that it's such a low class car that it's 4 stars as opposed to 5. And with 4 stars, it requires almost 200 blueprints. Well, to be precise, it's 188 blueprints to take it from 0 to all the way to 4 stars. Almost 190, which I round up to almost 200. It's crazy for a 4 star car. It requires that ridiculous amount of blueprints. It's absolutely absurd. And that is the problem as to why. I have been considering what am I gonna do with this car because man, tokens, tokens are valuable and spending them in such a car, it doesn't feel right, I tell you. Now, this car being made available in the Unleash as opposed to being a Legend Pass car like it was in Global makes it so that this car is not a pay to win only, right? Now granted, you do need to spend your tokens, but you know, you can save a bunch of tokens even as a free to play player, so that's not exactly um, a determining factor. But it, it sounds like a good thing, and I guess it is a good thing, but for such a car, oh man, it just, I cannot justify spending a crazy amount of tokens. Because um, as it said, like I mentioned, with the Unleashed, you were able to get a bunch of blueprints for that thing, in total 30 blueprints, as well as 750 tokens and whatnot, right? The usual stuff for a Unleashed. 
But even with that, that's still 25 blueprints away just to unlock and still 150 something blueprints to take the car to, to max stars. I did the, the math and the amount of tokens that you need for that, it's close to 18, oh, it's around 18,000 tokens to get it to the, to the fourth star. And that is, like I just mentioned, a ridiculous amount of tokens to pay. Despite the fact that this has the cheaper packs for the Unleashed, it's still a crazy amount of tokens for a car that is that bad. If I were to spend 18,000 tokens on a car, I would love for that car to be useful. But unfortunately, the STO is anything but useful. So, all right, let me show you what is the deal with this whole thing because it's better if you see it. So here we go. In the daily section or the daily events, you see the, the Unleashed over here. First part, obviously you could get five blueprints and the 750 tokens that I mentioned. In the second stage, you can get a total of 30 blueprints. Uh, if you have the cars, where, which were the Bentley Continental, the Celine is one, uh, Arash AF10, and the Donker board. Um, if you have the car at three stars, then you can get a couple of, of epics. And then finally, at stage three, only if you own the car, then you can compete and maybe get some additional epic import parts. So that is the whole thing with that, with this. And in fact, when this Unleashed was released, for several days, they never added the packs to to the packs for tokens, which made it basically impossible to get unless you were to spend money in buying it, the, the, the offers with actual money. So eventually they, they did and they, oh Jesus, let me try that again. They did end up adding the token packs. And like I just mentioned, they're the good type of packs where, you know, for example, just to give you a quick example over here in the burst of speed, you have that a single pack is 75 tokens, 10 packs is 750 tokens. And once you get the 10 pack, you get a one guaranteed drop of whatever is the featured item. That is always the case. Well, over here, it's 700 for one and 350 for five, which doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. Where obviously this is more, this is cheaper because it's not 75 slash 750. It's 70 slash 350. So it's a little bit cheaper. But the beautiful part about this is that with this, you can buy twice as many packs or rather get twice as many blueprints. Because now with just buying this five packs for 350, you get the guaranteed um, blue, blueprint drop. And by the way, if I can speak very well, because I'm recording this very, very late, and I was actually going to record this video in my tomorrow, but then I realized that these packs are about to time out while the actual uh, Unleash is still over a day uh, left for it to end. For some reason, these packs are gonna end in two hours. You can see it at the top. So that's why I need to record this or never. So. Um, these are the good packs, right? Where, oh, you can get blueprints uh, much easier or for cheaper, except that even then, like I just mentioned, this car needs so many blueprints that even with these great packs, if I get one drop per five packs, I still need, like I mentioned, about 18,000 tokens to max it out. Um, just to give you a quick idea, for the first star, you need 55 blueprints. For the second star, you need an additional 35. For the third, third star, you need 44 blueprints. And for the fourth star, you need 54. Again, for a total of 188. I already have 30 or 35, but I still need so many more. So you can see that I have 65,000 tokens. That's a lot of tokens, but I still need to save a bunch of tokens for Lambos that will come in the future. For example, whenever the new update here on the Switch drops, we're gonna be getting the SC63 and who knows how that car is gonna be available. So I need to have tokens for something like that. So I cannot just go crazy and spend a ton of tokens on this car. So my plan today is to assign a budget of how much I want to spend. Cause I could literally just unlock it. At the end of the day, my objective in this game is to own all of the Lambos, not necessarily to have them all at max stars. So it's not an absolute requirement for me to max this car. So in thinking of that, I thought, well, what if I only get the 20 blueprints or 25 blueprints that I'm missing and just unlock it and call it a day? I could do that, but I decided, you know what? I do have a lot of tokens. I'm gonna set up a budget of how much I want to spend and that budget is gonna be 10,000 tokens. It's still a lot, don't get me wrong, but 10,000 tokens it feels better than spending almost twice as much with 18,000. So we're going to see what kind of luck I get. Obviously, I'm going to get three blueprints guaranteed per five pack. Hopefully, I'm going to get some additional blueprints from time to time. Um, oh, yeah. So now I have activated this this thing to ask for confirmation. So, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm recording this uh, late at night. I'm very tired. I'm sleepy. I would like to go to bed. But here I am. Spending my tokens? No. 
in these packs because yes um and in theory if things go well no oh, jesus that's one loud airplane this late at night is weird but anyway um that was only the guaranteed drop um what was i gonna say okay you know what hold on let me disable this this warning for 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 the tokens yeah just disabled it to make sure that this is a little bit smoother um so yeah with with these tokens if everything goes right i should be able to take the car to two stars maybe up to three stars that is if i get a little bit lucky with the drops but like i mentioned um the drop rate is still 10 percent so for me to get multiple drops in one single five times pack situation is it's a very low chance so unfortunately i do believe that i'm gonna be basically just having to live with the worst possible drop rates and just having to live with that so i'm gonna speed this up a little bit for the sake of making it a little bit more fluid because otherwise this is gonna take forever and like i mentioned i'm pretty tired all right i'm sorry i would love to make this super entertaining but i'm tired um i don't understand why these packs are gonna time out before the the unleashed actually ends but you know it is what it is if i unlock the car to two stars at the very least i will be able to apply custom colors to the car which is you know not a bad thing but honestly i'm very disappointed with this car and not only in the performance now granted not every car needs to be the best car ever you know what i'm gonna unlock it already yeah unlock let's go back all right now i currently own every single lambo available to this point in the switch version there you go um not only for the performance i can live with cars that are that don't perform great like like i just mentioned this car is very comparable to the to the 4 gt mark ii which is a car that i love how it looks though the performance is very oof so i can live with cars that have bad performance but i also was extremely disappointed oh there we go i got two drops nice um, I was also very disappointed by the color options of this car because I don't know if you've seen this car well maybe not IRL per se but you know if you've seen some pictures of this car and this car can have some amazing color combinations there's one that I particularly like a lot that it's green with orange trim Ooh, let's go another drop <coughs> excuse me there's white with blue there's a bunch of different color combinations for this car that makes it look absolutely beautiful and yet over here they decided okay official colors is only gonna have this semi livery this one the blue with the orange which don't get me wrong it looks nice but you know they, they could do so much more and the other available color official color for this car it's just a straight up black no accents nothing it's just black Ooh, let's go another twofer Oh, by the way, so I started at 65,000 tokens, so I will stop at 55,000. 55,000 tokens. There we go. Oh, nice. All right, two stars. Perfect. That makes it so that um, I now have access to custom colors, so yay. Um, I'm still going to spend a little bit more, but hey. So if I could get it to three stars, that would make me relatively happy. Oh, nice. Um... So yeah, the, the other official color is just straight up black, really? For that, and, and you know, there's some times when they make cars that is, yeah, it's fully black now, but in the official color, it also has some fancy accents in another color, a logo here, something like that, right? Not for this car. It's just a straight up black. It's the same as if you just go and paint, go into custom color and paint the car black. So it's such a waste to have that as another one of the official colors for the car. It just feels like a slap in the face um and then when you go to the uh, to the custom colors of the car yeah i mean you can customize it but as is the case with some cars in this game when you do that it just removes all of the accent um accent colors in the car in this case the orange because if if i could at least keep the orange and then add the other color the customizable color you know as well the part that oh instead of blue i want it to be white white with orange or black with orange or or green with orange or whatever um i think that would be okay but as it is right now over here i don't know man all right you know what 30 out of 44 so that makes it that i'm missing what 14 blueprints i'm about to hit the 55,000. i still have uh resources to buy three more of these 
Game, if you want to drop some additional blueprints for me, out of the kindness of your heart, that would be fine. But also, if I get the card to three stars, I will be able to, to get a couple of epics for this thing. So that would be kind of nice. Though, who knows if I'll ever take it to four stars, because I have no idea when this card will be coming back in the game, if it ever comes back, under which circumstances. So, man, all right, that makes it the 10,000 and a little bit that I've spent and all right I just need one more pack so you know what I'm gonna go I'm gonna buy one more pack just to guarantee the third star and there you go all right mm -hmm. that's it so like I mentioned would I like to take it to to the fourth star for the sake of collection yeah but again I'm gonna need to spend so many tokens in doing that that I just don't feel like it I just spent 10,000 and some and I managed to get the card to 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 the third star and i know that somebody might be thinking maybe you are thinking like what is wrong with dbt did he just really spend that dumb amount of tokens on a card that he admits it's terrible and had he doesn't even like that much i mean don't get me wrong i actually like the look of the card quite a bit i think it's a very beautiful card but even this livery by itself is not super interesting the orange trim that you see in the front looks nice but here on the side skirt it's such a thin orange line it's barely visible on the back it looks nice no but uh, it's not great and that is the best looking version of the car because again let's go into the official visuals we have this and we have black like really just black why did that need to be an official color if i could have just gone here and that's it i can paint it black and i can paint it fully black or if i want a little bit bright you know this is what i'm saying and look like, it's still good that there's options to paint the car in different colors, although I don't understand why they removed the dual color options for Lambos. But hey, whatever. Oh, what? How do I have Matt already unlocked? Have I played a bunch with this car? That's really weird. I didn't think I would have that unlocked, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Um, But yeah, so you see how... I, yeah, I can change the color, but there's no accent anywhere. It's the same color all around. Let's paint it full red instead of that weird, desaturated pink. Um, so, well, maybe this doesn't look terrible, but it loses all of the accents with the orange lines. If, if that was separately colorable, um, I think that would be best, but you know what? <sighs> Whatever. There's a couple of decals for this car. Both of them I acquired in the global version. Even with this, I mean, it looks fine, though. It doesn't do a great job, in my opinion, of, of highlighting the shapes of the car, but you know what? It's fine. Then there's this other one which is also fine i don't particularly like any of the decals i mean i don't hate the decals but you know they're, they're just all right and as far as the official visuals it's meh and this is terrible and the custom colors is just not worth it so yeah overall it's definitely a bit of a of a weird car um by the way i do what do i need to do in order to get the epic let's see if i can unlock it uh three stars oh i can only get one epic if i want the other one i need to take it to four stars. well at least let's get that one single epic um i just need to beat the race time of whatever should be doable oh and by the way this tells you just how low the rank of this car is in general look at that my stock rank no wait a second i think i do have some upgrades applied oh yeah i have it to four huh really why i don't know well still my maximum rank at three stars is 2900 so that is hardly insane rank, but uh, whatever. Again, it's collection value. That's that's why I did this. And again, not super happy of spending 10,000 tokens, but at least 10,000 tokens for three stars. Uh, yeah, fine, um, I'm just gonna hope that at some other point there will be another way to get the last blueprints. I would imagine that at some point in the near future, near, I mean, in half a year, maybe a year, uh, Gameloft is gonna make this car available at, in a car hunt or something. So at least that's not going to be a completely painful car hunt because it's only going to be missing one um, one last star. And you might be thinking, DBT, then why don't you just wait until this car is available in a car hunt? Well, that has to do with my plans for this game once Unite drops. Um, I'm not going to talk about it just yet because I don't want to jinx anything. But yeah, it's important for me to have every single Lambo before Unite drops. So, and that is why I also kept a bunch of the tokens, 55,000. I mean, I don't need 55,000 for when the SC63 happens, but I'll definitely will. I will probably be spending like easily 20,000 worth of that, if not maybe 25, 30. And I'm still gonna be left with a bunch of tokens, which I do want to keep around in case, you know, once Unite drops, there's more stuff. 
to 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 get specifically Lambo related. So yeah, basically, once you night drops, I'm gonna be running by. So that's why I want to have a bit of a cushion in terms of the tokens that I want to have around in, in my account. Um, is this enough to get my epic? I sure hope it is. But all right, can I get my epic? My epic there. I don't know. I, I didn't get my epic, did I? No, I didn't. 103. Okay, I was short by a second and some. So I will just apply the upgrades and whatnot. But, you know, that's not super relevant to this video. Just wanted to show you what was my luck in buying the packs for the STO. Honestly, my luck wasn't great. I think it was, what, I don't know, like five packs at most that had double blueprints. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, and now that I have the car, I can also participate in the contest. So, yay. Um, I don't think I'll make it into top 1,000, although it's kind of, I don't know, maybe there hasn't been a thousand people willing to spend this amount of tokens on the car, so who knows. But alright, that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do, hit the like button and all of that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!